All right, this is going to be the first uh, tutorial video on how to set up a Pro Tools session um, for audio post production for film. Um, I will start off with how to get the video set up for Pro Tools in this video, and my next tutorial will be on how to set up your Pro Tools session for audio post production. Um, all right, okay, let's uh, start by opening up Final Cut Pro, which I already have opened up. Um, keep in mind though, this uh, is normally done by the fil uh, film editors, but if you're going to do um, your own uh, film, this is uh, the basics of uh, what, you need to, uh, what you need to do. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll go up to whoop, get into Final Cut Pro, click on File, Start New Project, and if you don't have Final Cut Pro, don't worry about it. Um, you can always do it with in, during your film production, start by filming um, somebody clap before with the, the audio on before you actually start filming your video, and that way you it gives you a segment to a sound and a reaction on on camera to where you can sync up the sound and you'll know where uh, if, if the sound is in sync or not by the clap if the clapped sound doesn't sound off at the same time as the clap on on the film then it's out of sync and you'll just have to realign it and that's what we're gonna do right here of which if you don't have this don't worry about it well yeah. and now um, okay let's go into file import files so we'll import our um, our film data our project information and I have mine saved in my documents a little file here okay I'm gonna type import my leader my little sample movie unselected and my tail pop and select choose you'll see that it en enters it in over here into your little project bin and now what we're going to do is select our leader click and drag that into the timeline the video timeline snap it to the beginning okay we'll just click yes on this uh, I'm an audio guy not a video guy so don't pay too much attention to this um, now we'll s click and drag in the sample video as you notice there's also some audio with this as well we'll just keep that there and I'll show you how to mute that out while we're in Pro Tools in the next video and we'll come here select our tail pop pop that in, snap it right in next to it and I'll tell you what uh, the, the leader and the tail pop are very important because the leader contains uh, the number two in there it counts down from eight and goes to two one and the two you put your two pop there in order to um, make sure that everything is in sync that's what you actually do that's what I said that you could do with a clap filming a clap, somebody clapping, um, to sync up the sound. Um, that's essentially what the two pop does and the tail pop as well. So you know that everything's perfectly in sync when you go into your Pro Tools session or transfer your Pro Tools session to another person's um, setup. And that way everything will be in sync and you, if it's out of sync, you could get it back in sync fairly easy. And um, from here, what we need to do is set our end and out points. You'll come up to your timeline, select your cursor all the way to the beginning, hit your I key on the keyboard to set your end point. And this is so we know, so the Pro, uh, Final Cut Pro knows when to start and to end your um, the video. And right here we'll select it to the very end to the tail of the tail pop. Hit the O key on your keyboard and that's the out point. And right now what we'll do is 
it's ready to be exported. So we go up to File, Export using QuickTime Conversion. And this is in order to get the, the, the best video format for Pro Tools to run smoothly to where it won't glitch on you or anything. It's, it'll be the perfect size and you'll it, Pro Tools will run smoothly with the video and it, you won't have any really any problems. Um, up here, let's save it. We'll just, I'm going to keep it as sequence one just for demo, demonstration purposes. I'm um, going to select where I want to save it. I'm going to come here to YouTube. Uh, put it in here. Bam. I'm going to select options now to open up movie settings. Go into settings. Select, okay, H264 is what you want to select. Then it was already selected, so that's good. Frame rate, we're going to select 29.97 uh, for demonstration purposes. Uh, you can select whatever your film was filmed in, uh, but for these purposes, we're going to do 2997. Uh, it's most common. So, And keyframes, we're going to do every 24 frames. Quality high, you can set it the best if you'd like. Um, encoding, we're going to do best quality multipass. And date rate, we're going to keep that automatic. Select OK. And size, we're going to come here, select that. And we're going to change the size to 320 by 240. And the QVGA. And we're going to hit OK. And now we're going to go into the sound settings, open up those. We're going to leave it at linear PCM, stereo L&R, 48 um, kilohertz is perfect. Uh, that is the standard for um, film at 48 kilohertz. Uh, we're going to change the sample size, the bit rate, to 24 bits. Um, quality, we're going to leave it normal. And we're going to leave the little Indian uh, checked. And select OK. Uh, we're going to uncheck prepare for internet streaming. We don't need that. It's not going to go on the internet just yet. We're going to import it into Pro Tools so it doesn't need to be that. And let's select OK. Now it's ready to save. And hit save. Now it's rendering the video and exporting it. Um, this could take some time. Sometimes it does take a while. This one may not take a while. Um, but. Um, Thanks for watching, um, and uh, subscribe uh, to um, stay tuned for the next video of the tutorial series on setting up Pro Tools uh, for audio post production uh, for vi film. Uh, what I'll do is it will actually be in Pro Tools. We'll import this video that we just that's exporting right now into Pro Tools. Uh, we'll get all the channels set up and uh, and tracks set up and. Pro Tools and colored, um, coordinated to the standards of the film industry, and go from there. Uh, there will be a number of videos on this, um, going all the way from the setup uh, to uh, um, spotting um, all your sounds, all the way into um, putting in your actual sounds and uh, coming down with your final mix. All right, hope you liked. Um, well, see you next video.